We are Social Blade. Yahoo Pulse, what this is doing is sort of similar to what Google was doing with Google Buzz a couple of months ago, and really is still doing, but uh, at least the launch layout. Uh, what they're doing now is it's basically an automatic opt in. You have to go to a couple of pages uh, to turn yourself off of this. And, and what they do, which is a little different than Google did, is anyone that has you in their address book will automatically get all of your different updates here. So if you have a Flickr account, um, you know, on Facebook, you have to physically opt in here, but anyone that has you in their address book, uh, and uses Yahoo will see automatically when you upload a picture to Flickr with this setting here. And the same with, if you're rating movies or buzzing stories, again, anyone will be able to get those updates. And you, in the, the really bad thing about it is, you can't even tell who's following you on this um, the, because of the method that they have here. They tried to avoid a privacy risk that Google had with publicizing your address book. But say, you know, a couple of years ago, because Yahoo's been around, Yahoo Mail and Messenger have been around for years. A couple of years ago, maybe you exchanged uh, a message with, I don't know, your doctor on there, and now he'll see updates of your pictures and everything. <laughs> Perhaps mm. not the one, the person that you want to see those, or a boss, or an ex-boss, or an ex-girlfriend, things like that. And there's no way. What you can do, you can actually opt out completely, which uh, we'll provide some links. There's basically three pages that you have to go to to opt out, sort of Facebook style. You have to click all around. Um, but it, it, you can opt out of applications, and you can opt out completely. But you can't again see who is. Uh, we'll say following you for lack of a better word and opt out of just them. So what do you, what do you think about that, Aaron? <laughs> or, do you think that you know? it's going to be a bit of a backlash there? Like, you know, with the information that's going on with Facebook. So, I mean, like, do you think Yahoo's going to get the same type of negative feedback with having this grab their information? I think, think so um yeah absolutely or even more of like google again i uh, well, let's ask our privacy expert here john what do you think I, I don't know the one thing that i i thought of when i read it and the one comment that i had ready that I was kind of laughing about was the yahoo answers were going to be shared oh yeah that's and yeah, that too it, normally that's the kind of thing where maybe you would go to yahoo answers to ask a question you wouldn't ask somebody else <laughs> that's a good point and, uh, <laughs> You know, that's one thing as far as third-party information that you maybe wouldn't want to share. I mean, it, it's just something that the reason that website exists is, is, is for that. And I think uh, in addition to photos or in addition to other things, you know, that kind of information, uh, people, once, once, I think once people realize that information is being shared, then there's going to be some issues coming up with that. So I, I think that was the one thing I was looking at. Some of the, some of the apps that are going to create new privacy issues uh, and that was one of them, definitely. Mm, good point. Cool. JD, what do you think? Well, it's I, I, I hate to, to rip on, on Yahoo, um, but I don't think that they're going to be significant enough to even be a, a blip on the radar. I think that, that okay. they're, they, have this, they have this tendency to be to have the worst possible timing. So it's like, okay, we're going to bring up a privacy, uh, something that's going to, to fall under privacy concerns, Let's uh, let's try to sneak it by. Let's plan for oh, let's shoot for end of May, early early June to launch this. This will be a good time, you know. It's like poor guys. How how do they know that this is going to be in the spotlight when they're putting all this together? Um, I guess what I'm saying is this: that that Yahoo is is slowly but surely growing into something that's, that's considered to be insignificant in many ways. And it's not. I'm not saying the company is obviously they're huge. They 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 do very well. Um, well, driving traffic and, and getting traffic still, but uh, uh, This does affect, though, JD, a lot of people. A lot of people still use Yahoo for email. So, I, I mean, oh, no, yeah, yeah, no, they're not the the popular company these days, per se, but, um, I mean, <laughs> I even still, have, I don't use it anymore, but I even still have a Yahoo email address, so I went through and opted out to these things. Just, uh, so... You know, if when I upload my pictures to Flickr, I have no idea who's following that has me in that address book. I don't want them getting all these things. So it yeah, absolutely. does affect I'm not people. Saying, I'm definitely not suggesting that that they. Uh, I'm definitely not suggesting that it's not significant. What I'm saying is that even Facebook, 
was pretty much, um, you know, the, the, the challenges they've been having <coughs> with, with privacy are going unnoticed by the general public. If the Facebook one is, then I can't imagine Yahoo being, uh, on a social media scale, I couldn't imagine Yahoo having any more difficulties than Facebook has had, which technically speaking, they haven't had a whole lot. You know, there's been a lot of complaints on the tech end. There's been a lot of people um, complain, uh, talking about it. But the your average Joe, if you were to go and do a poll, is there currently a privacy concern with Facebook? And just, just pick out 100 people on the street, you'd have about probably maybe 10, 15, 20 people max that say, oh, yeah, Facebook has privacy concerns. That, you know, they're all over the place. It hasn't hit a mainstream mainstream yet. And so this move by Yahoo to me is not, if, if Facebook didn't, then Yahoo's definitely not going to hit a mainstream curve. They're going to be able to sneak by any of these concerns pretty easily, in my opinion. Yeah, good point. I don't know about that, but, but before we move on to that, okay, because I, I do want to continue with this privacy, but, you know, I, I do want to um, just give a bit of an intro here for our guest who's been with us um, tonight, John Spinda. He's, um, he is an assistant professor of organizational communication at Murray State University in Western Kentucky. A great deal of his research and teaching activity revolves around social networking and computer-mediated communication. So, John, do you agree with this? Do you think that Yahoo will just slide by, or do you think there'll be a bit of an uproar? Well, I think it depends on, again, if people end up getting harm from it, there might be somewhat of an uproar. But in a way, the timing is kind of interesting. I think uh, J.D. made an interesting point where everyone's talking about Facebook. Maybe it was advantageous for Yahoo to kind of, I don't know, have it come through at this point while everyone has their, their eyes on Facebook. I mean, that could be argued um, you know, that, that, what, that way as well. But uh, I don't know if Yahoo's going to suffer the backlash because I, I think J.D. does have a point in the fact that it, it's not seen as the social networking place. It's not always brought up in the discussion with, Facebook or MySpace or, or Dig or anything like that, I think it's kind of one of those websites that its niche now is like a jack-of-all-trades, master of none. Uh, they do a lot of things, and some of the things are prominent, of course. It's such a huge website, but uh, it's not... When you think of Yahoo, you think of a lot of things. You think of games, you think of answers, you think of a lot of different services they have that are popular. So I think uh, you know they're going to be able to get by with it because they're not focused on... Social networking, so I kind of do. I kind of do agree to a, to an extent. I think they might just slide by because they're not as popular as Facebook. But at the same time, Facebook is going to get away with it because they are so popular. Don't you agree with that? Yeah, yeah. I think they are. I mean, they're going to get away with it because I, I think. And again, a lot of, a lot of people think this is an age issue where well, younger people don't care about their privacy. Uh, Research and in my own experiences in, in the classroom has proved that not to be true. It might even be the other way around. But I think when you have the, the mass of 400 million Facebook users, you're now talking about a large section of them who, who are apathetic. You're going to have some people who are highly involved, some who are apathetic, and that's not an age thing. It's, you know, it, it's a technology thing. So I think that uh, there's going to be some backlash and the people who might be most interested in it. But the people who are kind of apathetic, you know, it's not a big deal. And I think, you know, we have shifted with, with privacy. Uh, I was reading something today that a study done at MIT talked about how 87% of Americans can be identified through uh, zip code, gender, and uh, oh, I forget the other thing now, but it's, uh, it's three basic things that are on everyone's Facebook profile, unless obviously you opt out of those changes. So unless you're very intricate and take care of all of your X's and O's on Facebook, it is a privacy issue. So, you know, a lot of things that, that if someone wants to get to you, they can do it on Facebook a lot of times with or without these, uh, these plugins or different things that we've been talking about with privacy. Invading the internet covering web 2.0, coast to coast, worldwide, and everywhere in between. This is where you put the social in social media. We are Social Blade.